Hi, it's Maya here, and today I thought I'd talk about my most anticipated ebooks on my TBR. So I have my Kindle here, and I have all my books in collections, and I just recently added a new collection called Look Over Here, and I just added all of the ebooks that I'm most looking forward to into this one folder from the other folders. And so I'm not going to go through all of the books that are on here, but my most anticipated ones. So I would say that currently my most anticipated ebook of my TBR is A Memory Called Empire by Arkady Martin. This is a science fiction novel that came out last year. So this is about a newly appointed ambassador who goes to the center of the empire only to discover that her predecessor, the previous ambassador, has died and probably been murdered. So this one has two of my favorite things, which is a murder mystery and also a newcomer to court sort of thing. So a political instability, political intrigue, the imperial court. So that's why I am so looking forward to this. And everyone I know who has read this has said that it's really good. I think it just won a Hugo for best debut novel, maybe. I think my next most anticipated book here is Witchmark by C.L. Polk. And I think this is a historical fantasy or a for historical fantasy, like set in a fantasy world, but sort of reminiscent of an era of our time. Maybe the Edward Edwardian time. So this has to be an addi addictive fantasy that combines intrigue, magic, betrayal and romance. Yeah, it says that it is reminiscent of Edwardian England. Noble families who use their unique magical gifts to control the fates of nations. And it follows this young man who is magic marked. So which mark I think is this mark that you have magic? So this one is on my list because I am feeling like reading historical fantasy and it being a historical fantasy romance uh, promises this sort of atmosphere that I am currently looking looking for. It's a romance between two men, I believe, and there's the second novel in this series that has a romance between two women. The next I have a book that I have heard mixed reviews of, and that is The Ten Thousand Doors of January, which has a gorgeous cover. This one I also think came out uh, last year. And it is a portal fantasy story. I think the mixed reviews come from this being a book written by a white author who writes about a black main character. And maybe it has some parts focusing on oppression. And the conversation is whether that's a thing a white author's place to write about. So that's stuff that I have heard after picking this one up. But the reason I picked this up originally was because of the plot, which is about this sprawling mansion and the main character is called January and she stumbles across a strange book. Knowing that this has portal fantasy elements was the reason that I picked it up and the cover had something to do with it as well. I had read one short story from Alexi Harrow before and I liked that one. So the next most anticipated book here I would say is Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Roanhorse. So I've been wanted to read this for a while, but I just haven't gotten to it. I think I got it out from the library one time, but didn't have time to read it then. So this is an urban fantasy, and I feel like urban fantasy once in a while. And I also have heard good things about Drone Horses writing. A new book just came out recently that people have been really enjoying. But Trail of Lightning is the start of an urban fantasy series. I think it's a bit post-apocalyptic. After a supernatural disaster destroys most of North America, Navajo monster slayer Maggie Hosky must navigate a world of monsters and gods. The next on the list would definitely be Descendant of the Crane by Joan Herr. About this book, I have to say first that the author is currently fighting with her US publisher because they didn't pay their royalties on time, so the rights reverted back to her, but the publisher hasn't uh, reacted to the rights reverting and has continued to publish her books. They published just now her paperback edition of the book, even though the rights had reverted back to the author. So if you want to support the author, maybe pre-order her next book instead of buying this one. I have the UK edition, so thankfully I haven't helped that publisher. So this one is again one of my most anticipated ones because it is once again a court and drink book where a person arrives to court. And again, someone I have forgotten, someone is murdered. Princess Hesina of Jan has always been eager to shirk the responsibilities of the crown, but when her beloved father is murdered, she's thrust into power. I love stuff like that. So actually, I didn't tell you the reason why I'm doing this video, and that's because I've been recently um, neglecting my ebooks and not 
being as excited about them as I could be. So I thought I'd do this video so I could be more excited about them again. And I think it's definitely working. And the next book that I'm very excited about is Phoenix Extravagant by Yoon Ha Lee. This has a bit of a caveat to it, which is that I got the review copy from NetGalley and I got it very early on and I didn't manage to review it by the review date. So there's this feeling of failure or a pressure to read this book that goes on with this book, which is the reason why I haven't been able to pick it up after the release date, because I was so sure that I would have read it before it. This has a non-binary main character who is a painter, and I love like artist main characters often. The Phoenix Extravagant of the title is this paint, this dye. I want to pick this up because of Yoon Harley. I have read uh, Lee's other books, all of the other books, I think. So I feel a bit bad that I didn't read it in time. So let's move on to the next one, which doesn't have any like bad feelings behind it. I have Paladin's Grace by T. Kingfisher. That's my next book. It's a high fantasy book. I think it's a bit romantic fantasy. I just really enjoy T. Kingfisher's high fantasy books. I think my uh, her fairy tale retellings are my favorite, and then her high fantasy books. It came out I think pretty early on this year, I am on her Patreon, so I got it for free. So if she self-publishes self a book, she gives it out to her Patreons. I think this is set in the same world as Swordheart. I really want to spend like some quality fun time with Kingfisher. She has this sort of writing style that is easy to read and sort of light, even though bad stuff can also happen, but like the main tone is light and fun. And let's choose one more. The Curse of Chalion by Lois McMaster Bujold. This one was on my top 10 books to read in 2020 list, I believe, and I haven't read it, but I recently reread the description of what this book is about and got again very excited about it because I had forgotten that this is one of, once again, one of those person goes to court sort of things, and then there's a lot of political intrigue that sort of rekindled my interest. It says here that Casaril returns to the noble household he once served as page and is named secretary tutor. He has to go to the royal court of Gardegos, where the powerful enemies who once placed him in chains now occupy lofty positions. Good stuff. Maybe I should do like a uh, I read court intrigue fantasy sort of month for myself because I really enjoyed it. Or maybe it would be too much. I have to think on that. But I think that's all that I'm gonna choose for now. I hope you enjoyed this sort of like chatty video. I didn't really prepare for this a lot. I chose the books but didn't write anything else down. So in my look over here, <laughs> I, that's just a stupid name for a collection. I have 16 items on that in that collection. Those were the top, however many they were maybe eight, uh, that I am the most looking forward to right now. Let me know if you have loved some of these books that I just mentioned, or just tell me about your like ebook things. Do you sometimes neglect them? I think there was like a month sometime this year or last year when I maybe only read ebooks, and then after that I have sort of neglected them. So let me know about your ebook reading habits, and if you have read any of these books, but uh, let me stop rambling. That's all from me for now, and I'll see you in my next video.